how appropriate is it that these two big tournaments come down to knockout games against LAFC? <laughs> I don't think, you know, we could have ever predicted that, but it certainly is exciting, adds to the intrigue. Yeah. How aware are your guys about the upper hand that LAFC has had in this round? They know. Yeah. A lot of them involved in that, is it an eight-game run, something yeah. like that? Uh, they all know. They, they're aware of it. Um, what did you guys learn from the last time you faced it? I uh, see that, that needs to improve this go, this, this go around. It was one of our, you know, we had a really good run of form. And then we built up the game and hyped up the game, measure ourselves, you know, and then we fell flat. You know, the mistakes, the individual mistakes that we made in that game weren't, you know, weren't what we were all about. So against a good team like L.A., you have to play mistake-free if you can, you know. And uh, then on the flip side of that is when you have chances against them. If they happen to make a mistake, you got to make them pay. So just was backwards in that game. Sort of an obvious question, but I mean, the fact that you have both of them at home, one at Lumen, one at Starfire, I mean, how much of an advantage is that for you guys? Two way different venues, yeah. both exciting games. Uh, hope everybody comes out to both of them. Uh, we'll need the support and, you know, uh, it is an advantage. They might take it as, well, we've been successful up here, so I'm not so sure it'll affect them, you know, but maybe, you know, maybe we can feed off our crowd and get our guys a little, a little more amped up. So Paul Rothrock, 8-0-1 uh, <laughs> with you guys across all competitions when he starts matches. Is That's he a gonna, good stat. Is he going to start on Saturday? I didn't know that. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a great stat, and uh, kudos to him. You know, it is a team sport, and Paul has a lot of help, but he's certainly helping himself, uh, and that's why he's getting the start. Does it ever get old when you see a, a hometown player like that, you know, kind no. of live his dream and play for his hometown team? Never, yeah. because it's not just the hometown guy from Capitol Hill and Jackson, you know, you know, it's not just that, but it's the way he did it. Look, he, he might have been on his way out or, you know, struggled to you know, regain form. I mean, you know, I think if I'm thinking back, Alex, you know, there was a spell where we didn't re-sign him right away and, you know, that kind of chip on his shoulder came back and now he's starting for us. A little bit similar to Paul. I mean, you could read the writing on the wall and he took control of his own career. And you got to give him credit for that. But there's a lot of guys that put the plan in place executing that plan is certainly the other part of that story he went out and actually did it and he's making plays in games now too I saw Pedro involved in training today how's yeah. he doing uh, look it's probably a little early for Saturday but he's getting closer uh, you know injury report Raul's in full so he'll be fine Pedro, let's see how the rest of the week goes.